Welcome back to another episode of Trending in our Studios. I'm your host, Ben. Today we're going to be talking about episode 13, season 7 of The Walking Dead, Bury Me Here. The focus of this episode was the kingdom, and the main characters in this episode was mainly Morgan, but we also got Carol, Ezekiel, Benjamin, Richard, a little bit of Jerry. Nabila was a new character we got introduced to in this episode. She was really cool. I believe with her uh, with her head cover, she was supposed to be a Muslim. If that's the case, that's the first Muslim character that they've really focused on in this episode, and I like that. That's really cool. Unfortunately, we lost two characters this episode. We lost one, Benjamin, to Richard's plan. He was hoping to die. Unfortunately, it turned out to be Benjamin, the character with my name. We did see it all coming, so it wasn't that much of a surprise, but I still found it very sad. He's a young child, and losing him was unfortunate, for sure. But the main things we got out of this episode was we saw Morgan, after everything happened, after he lost his mind, he was able to kind of hold it together enough. And Carol, who she had had her own problems before, gave her, gave him that house, which that house helped her heal. Remember King Ezekiel told her, you can go, but not go. She used that same line on Morgan, and he actually agreed, and he's living in the house. And she came to the kingdom, and she said to the, she said to the king, basically, you know, I'm going to be here now, we need to fight. And luckily, King Ezekiel said, yes, we do. Granted, he, he did add, not right now, but he was referring to, for, the next, for a little bit here, let's try to be there for Benjamin's brother. He just lost his brother. Let's plant some flowers. Let's plant some plants right here. So that was, that was nice to see as well. Uh, what the plan was, Richard was hoping that the Savior just killed him because they always said that he would be the first to go. Don't forget that. Unfortunately, the long-haired hippie Foo Fighters kid ended up shooting, or I say kid punk, ended up shooting Benjamin instead of Richard, like was always, you know, like they always said. Gavin, the savior that has a little bit of conscience, was very upset about that, and that was obvious. And that was really cool for them to show that too, that saviors aren't completely heartless. You could tell that it actually bothered him, which was really cool to see. Morgan, he went halfway back in, into clear mode. He uh, definitely whooped some ass on a bunch of walkers. He did kill Richard. He took Benjamin's death really hard, which I figured he would, because they were very close. Um, what else happened this episode? Um, oh, well, well, Morgan was telling off that when not telling off, when he was telling Gavin what Richard had done, he was basically telling him the plan without telling him the plan. He just said what Richard said they had to do. And Gavin took that to mean, oh, so you guys are going to behave now, you're going to have your drops, there won't be any more problems, that's good to hear. And really, he was just saying, hey, I know we have to fight you guys now, and, I, and I'm okay with that, I'm in. I want to do it now. But he knew that that exact moment wasn't a good time. That tells you Morgan had a clear enough conscience to not flip out right there in the moment. That was really cool. Uh, what else we got? Carol. Mor uh, Morgan did tell Carol. He didn't initially tell her at first. He said, um, Daryl, uh, this is for Daryl to tell you, not for me. You guys had your own conversation. But if you want me to take you back to Alexandria, I will. And Carol, through tears, said no. And then at the end, he just laid her on her. He's like, do you want to know what happened to Alexandria? And Carol's like, well, what happened to you? And he's like, I killed Richard. And he said that so matter of factly. He was like, I killed Richard. Or, I'm sorry about that. I killed Richard. I strangled him. And he just said it so, just so flatly, so straight to the point, and like it was no big deal. And then he said, again, do you want to know what happened to Alexandria with the saviors? This time she meagerly 
nodded her head, and he just told her. I mean, he just came out and flat out gave her the information. He didn't pull any punches, and he, he just gave her the truth. So I found that a little bit disturbing, but also very cool. I mean, maybe that helped her. Instead of, like, sitting down and having a cup of coffee or tea or whatever have you, he just, you know, just flat out said, bam, this, this is what happened. Now what? Now you know. You know, you wanted to know. Now you do. So, it was cool to, for them to show how much Carol cares about Morgan because she went chasing after when he went to walk away. And she's like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm going to go kill them one by one. She's like, where? And he's like, not here. So, that that was, you know, I, I've always told people this, and I'll, and I'll stand by this. Period. Get, uh, uh, crazy Morgan, or even half crazy Morgan, is more gangster than gangster Carol. Morgan is an absolute badass. You don't mess with Morgan. Don't make the dude lose his mind. Because this is why he, he tried to tell himself to go there. Because this Morgan is crazy. And he will rip some shit up. Richard is not a small man. And he killed Richard with his bare hands, folks. Strangled his ass. Hmm. So, Lenny James, I gave him a standing ovation in my reaction at the end. It was well deserved. And I'm going to give him another clap here with the water in my hand so it doesn't look as good, but it's true. Lenny James, I applaud the work that you did in that episode. It was a masterpiece. Everybody was good in that episode. But it was your job to carry that ball, and you did it with, you know, you just tore it up. So uh, I loved the job you did, and I hope to see you do a whole lot more of the show. I hope you don't go anytime soon. You're an amazing character. You're an amazing actor. Uh, Lenny James, thank you very much. Well, guys, really, there ain't too much more to say. Lenny James killed it. Uh, this was one of the best episodes of the season. I won't, won't put it as my favorite, but it was one. <coughs> excuse me, it was one of my favorite episodes for sure. And that's all I got to say about that. Forrest Gump style. That's all I got to say about that. Life is like a box of chocolates. Never know what you're gonna get. That's Forrest Gump if he was a redneck. All right, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna keep this short. I'm going to go check out Logan, so I got to get going. I want to get this, this up before I leave, and I got to leave really soon, so I'm going to stop it right here. I just gave you the gist of everything that happened. I will tag this with spoilers so people know if you don't want to know what happened, don't watch this video. I'm taking this at the end. It's too late. So if you watch it or now, be warning with spoilers, it's a little late, but I'm going to put it in the description at the you know in the title. So, if you don't want to know what happens, hopefully you didn't watch to hear. If you did, too late. Oh, well, sorry. And we'll see you next time on Trending Interactive Studios. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.